The new Space Engineers multiplayer is finally here. Let's test this multiplayer once and for all. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, then here goes. Let's go. Watch your speed. We're approaching the red team fast. Okay, let's make them an offer they can't refuse. Fire all missiles. Sweet taste of revenge. They aim at the turret. I don't think they are prepared. Okay, it looks like we need urgent repairs in engineering section. Let's send in the boarding party. Alright guys, it's on me. Here we go. I'll bring the parts. Mm, I'm running through a light problem, guys. Place that warhead and get out of there. Alright, nearly done. Go, go! Yeah. That's what's big. So how about we go find out what that mysterious asteroid's about? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, coming in for landing. Coming in slow. Landing pad is clear. You ready, guys? Just don't burn my base with those thrusters. I hope you fix that car, Sergey. Careful. Nice. All right, Mark. And you often... Let's go. Let's get in that vehicle. Yes, sir. Bring the equipment. Okay, guys, watch your back. And the offer. Be sure to keep an eye on those samples, okay? What to that? Just bring back my vehicle in one piece. Just like the last time you went out? What on earth is that? Yeah, that's something different for sure. I don't know, but I got a bad feeling about this. I wonder how Red Team are getting on with their orbital tether. Let's take a look. Initiate construction. Ah, uh, this should be a real challenge for testing multiplayer. Steady as she goes. Now that is what I call engineering. How are we on parts? Well, we need more. But hey, here's the convoy approaching. What are the limits? We have been working on making this possible for the last five years. So far, so good. Look at that view. Supply ship inbound. I'm bringing the goods, guys. All right, bring it down gently. This is always a hard one to get right. Oxygen getting thin here. This is some triple stuff. Wow, this was epic. Yeah, it's working as intended. This is running really smoothly. Supplies dropped off and refueling complete. All right, thanks, guys. We'll catch you later. Till the next time. See ya. All right, next challenge. Listen up, guys. There's something I've always wanted to do, and that is to drill through an entire planet. Challenge accepted. Grab the drilling rig. Construction nearly complete. Roger that. I'm just finishing off some of the final drill pieces down here. Do we still have steel plates? Uh, don't worry, we have to land your plate. Batteries are charging. GPS calibration completed. We're set for launch. Get ready. Ready? All right, let's go. It's working. Beautiful. Let's see if this thing actually works. There she goes. Making quick work of this terrain. Oh, wow. So we're actually doing it. Deviation minimal. Six kilometers. This is mad. I know, right? But after all, this update is a new dawn for space engineers. Once again, fellas, it's been a right blast. It's always fun we get together and play. Watch out! Whoa, hold up. Wait, what the hell is this? That's quite unexpected. Oh, oh my. Who just joined? Uh, guy? Hello? Did you know this person joined the server? Nope. Don't look at me, Comfort. Hey, guy. I heard you've been waiting for me.
Hello everyone, my name is Cam Jack and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the latest update to Space Engineers and that is the major overhaul of multiplayer. It's been the update we've been talking about for quite a few weeks now, but today, on Thursday the 19th, it has finally arrived in our hands and we are currently playing it right now. I've literally just hopped off one of the brand new Keen public servers where I was messing around with a few other random people from the community and it's quite fun. At the minute, Keen are still streaming over on the Keen community network on Twitch. It is having a bit of an issue at the minute, that's not actually an issue by them, it's an ISP error, uh, which you kind of got fought before. I know some people are getting a bit confused over that. But anywho, let's jump into breaking down the major multiplayer update. So as you saw on the trailer there, there's quite a few cool things you can do in the trailer. Now that trailer was scripted using a tool um, which basically is like a cinematic tool. One of the bugbears I had of that trailer was it was not an authentic experience. Personally I thought that could have been filmed if you'd got like 20 of us in a server and we could have done that. I already expressed my interest of that trailer and what I didn't like about it to the developers but alas that is a finished product anyway. Uh, there was different versions of it but the trailer is about as the best one I got shown about two weeks earlier. So it's kind of the best we're going to get. I hope you guys did like the trailer but what did you think of it? I found it quite cool. But anyway, let's discuss the features in this update. So obviously the major feature is the improved multiplayer. We've then got major optimizations and performance improvements for various blocks and systems. This is what Marek was talking about the other day when he said not just has performance in multiplayer been improved, but so has the game overall. We also have safe zones and global permissions being introduced, are very nice. Player persistency in MP, multiplayer. Auto reconnect feature for client in multiplayer, something I've been wanting for ages now. If your game crashes or your, uh, your internet drops, you can basically auto reconnect once you have access again. Very nice. Now one thing everyone has been asking for is now in the game, which is the female engineer. If you do want to play as a female engineer, you now can. Fully available in the game, go download it, typically just go to a medical bay like you do with a skin and swap over to female engineer and the suit works exactly the same as the male engineer. Quite cool addition there and I'm glad the devs did listen to the community as there quite, a was, um, there quite was like a lot of people asking for the female engineer so it's good to see you introduced. I want to know your guys opinions on the female engineer being introduced down below in the comments so don't forget to tell me them. Following on from that, we have PCU limits, global, per faction, and per player. If you caught my video last week, or this week actually, we uh, spoke about PCU limits, how they work, and how they act on the servers. Quite a cool little feature that's going to help out server admins quite a lot more, so I can't wait to play around with them a little bit more. Also, the experimental mode option has now been added to the core game, meaning if you want to access servers which have experimental features such as air pressurization, uh, you now have to turn it on and it will display a notice saying this server is running experimental features, which is kind of uh, fair and okay, you kind of have to understand for that. But also is now a new support portal, so if you are having issues with Space Engineers, you can go to support.keensoftwarehouse.com or spaceengineersgame.com slash support and uh, get some support for yourselves there. I know a few of you are having issues with the game before, so hopefully this will solve some of your issues. Now, if you're interested in the dedicated server features, I'm going to do a quick overview of some of the crucial ones right now. Uh, first off, we've got a special thanks to Rexar, Jimical, and Equinox. Uh, those are the guys behind the Torch plugin. They've basically given some great ideas to the server admin tool which now comes with the dedicated servers. Those guys there are uh, fantastic quality what they do with Torch. It's like this cool dedicated server add-on for Space Engineers that allows like a whole host of new features. It's kind of hard for me to describe. If you run dedicated servers for Space Engineers, you've probably ran across Torch before and used it. If not, you may have not seen it, but it is a great add-on and uh, hopefully we can still use it now with this multiplayer update. We also have a nicer and faster dedicated server GUI. This is brilliant because the old one was not that great anyway. Also have a server password feature, auto restart feature, auto update feature, a message of a day and a message of a day URL. So if you want to link to an external URL, you can have that. You also got administrator, uh, administrator slots. So basically take a server, I have 30 slots. It's all full up. I want to get on. Well, now there's a slot reserved just for me as the administrator and some of my staff team. It's quite cool and will allow servers to be administered uh, a lot better. Now the dedicated server GUI Steam client integration is much easier now. Other important things we have is remote client in DSG uh, GUI. Lots of interesting stuff there. Probably stuff you guys won't understand or care about. You'll care more about features. This is more or less for dedicated server owners and uh, people like that who are more interested in it. The other main features, uh, you can, you've got a white world feature. You've got server side plugins with an API. It allows for multiple plugins within a dedicated server. Uh, adaptive simulation quality features and updated dedicated server and remote API guide which you can find on spaceandnewsgame.com slash dedicated dash servers. Quite cool, I'm glad we've updated all of that side for server owners as I know a lot of server owners including me were at rags end with simulation speed and just the features of the server overall. So it's nice to have quite a new few updates now to that. Now there's a ton of crash fix as well, including voxel related crashes, crashes on loading the wrong mod, copy and pasting, looping sign blocks, using illegal characters in the world name, content folders and changing entity name. So if you were having any of those crashes before, hopefully they now are fixed for you. Again, if you do want to see this entire log I'm currently reading, 
make sure to head down below into the description where I'll have linked it all for you. Now we've got functional fixes and changes. There's a uh, new program block changes. Basically a ton of fixes here, which help you. I won't read them all out because it's quite a ton. So if you do want to go read all the fixes to the game, make sure to head down below to where you can see them. Now Mark Rosa ha himself has released a dev blog basically summing up his thoughts on the multiplayer update as well as just giving us an idea of uh, what's going on in the update and discussing some of the more technical details which aren't in the update log. Quite cool if you are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, it gives you an example on PCU limits. So PCUs of well-known ships. A red ship is 14,000. A fighter is 3,000. Quite a good idea there. It's going to help a lot more people understand PCU limits as I know it was quite confusing for myself at some points. Another thing that's quite cool, if you're a fan of spaces from the old days, Quick Start has now been reduced, uh, reintroduced. So if you remember Quick Start is where you can start an easy start space platform in creative mode. Um, it's quite cool. It's only a temporary introduction to the game before they redo the whole get to know spaces part, which I hope they do very soon because uh, they need to create a proper tutorial, tutorial uh, to introduce people on how to actually um, get into the servers. Now dedicated servers are officially out. If you do want to jump into Space Engineers for your own selves, you can now uh, um, go onto the keen dedicated servers. So if I stumble these words, by the way, I'm very excited about this update. I really want to go play it right now with my Patreons. Um, so if you do want to get into the keen official dedicated servers, all you have to do is update the game, go to the server side there, and you can look at the official dedicated ones. They've got UK, they've got US, they've got Dutch, they've got America. Uh, it's every I've just said that twice. It's everywhere. You've got most countries there. I don't know if they've got Australia though. So some Australian people may have to look around at other servers. I know there's a few the keen discord uh for stuff like that but still head over there and uh play on there if you want to now one thing Marek's blog does talk about is how these official keen dedicated servers uh will be free of charge during the first month um that's how they're funding their maintenance I'm not entirely sure how that's going to keep going because I can't see the developers asking the community for money. Someone in my comment section did raise this question yesterday about the developers asking for money to fund their own dedicated service for the game. Personally, I can't see many members of the community doing that. They'd rather come to us as server hosts and actually pay us to do it in a sense. I run servers on my Patreons and stuff like that. Or they'll just go and join another of one of the amazing community servers out there. A lot of keen community members already run their own dedicated service of Space Engineers. So if people aren't going to pay for the normal ones, they're just going to do a hop, skip and a jump to the public free ones uh, in other communities. So I don't see that personally working in the long run. There also is a technical specification for dedicated servers as well. Quite cool if you're interested in running your own. As I spoke about earlier, there's new support for the community as well. Uh, lots of good things there, so it's quite cool. Uh, there's questions and answers. It's like one big, big uh, question and answer here is, why did it take you four years to come up with a solid and working multiplayer? Mark answered this by going, since we uh, first released multiplayer in Space Engineers, we've considered it a working prototype and knew it would take more time to finalize and properly finish. That's about round it off there and optimizations and everything else. Now, a lot of um, discussion did go on before this update on how Keen were taking things from the community and implementing into the game without thanking them. So one of the questions here is, you were apparently inspired by community creations and modders' work. Why did you take this from them? Uh, as Mark does answer this question here, we're grateful that modders have implemented some important and most requested features for multiplayer that the community are asking for in the core game over a couple of years, but we always plan to implement these features ourselves because they're part of the core and they should be in a villa game. We're very thankful to our modders for all the great discussions we've had over these years and hope to keep this cooperation alive in the future. Again, special thanks to Vexar, Jim McCollin, Equinox and others. So a good question is, why can't Space Engineers support more than 16 players? That is the default number they are going for on their servers. On mine, I'm going to be attempting 32, because as you know from watching my Conley series, I like to see if I can break the game from time to time. So we're going to do that today. We're going to see if we can break it. Now, Mark did say, during a public test, many servers ran a constant sim speed 1.0, even with 32 players doing heavy activities. Some people even successfully tried 64 player servers and were very happy. Um, there are specific technical requirements for Space Engineers. There are usually uh, many uh, moving into... They basically answer it there uh, by summing it up and saying the best number is 16. Which, you know, is a nice round number for a dedicated server. And you do have quite a few. So I I'm guessing most community servers will try and go higher than that. I know our Patreon one has 100 slots and we've yet to break that one. So well, maybe we can see if we can fill that up at some point. But it's still quite cool to see how things go. And so we'll have to see how the game does. Now, one big question is, are you abandoning the game? A lot of hate came towards the developers when I last did the interview where people were saying Keen were abandoning the game because Marek mentioned he may want to move on to another game after Space Engineers is done. Uh, basically, a game developer moving on to another product after their main one is done is not a new story. I mean, take EA and how they move on to projects all the time. You know, just they're not abandoning it because they're moving on. It, it was a weir really weird thing to think that. I know some of the community got confused by miscontent and misinformation spreading around YouTube, and it was quite disappointing to see that. But I'll refrain from commenting on that. 
Mark did answer his question by going, definitely no, we are just getting warmed up. We love space games, we love what we do, and we love what you keep creating. That's his simplistic answer there. Uh, Minor Wars was the first step, and space is the second step. The future is long and beautiful. Uh, we have hundreds of ideas of what we want to add. So it's basically, to sum it up there, he's saying this game is not stopping here. There's plenty more to go into Space Engineers, and this isn't the end just yet. Now he does answer what is next, he goes even though we usually do not disclose our future plans, we're going to make an ex exception this time. Our next major update will focus on balancing and considering the various game systems, how you respawn and resource CTC, making the game more accessible for new and existing players, uh, user intuitiveness, and a redo and polish of default scenarios, being easy to start space and empty worlds. Spaces has been in early access for almost 5 years, uh, we know it's a get, uh, time to get the game out. We're working get there and we do not have a date yet, we want to make sure that the game will be fantastic when it does get out of early access. As Space Engineers completion of the first installment, we're focusing on polishing, optimizing and finishing existing features. The first installment of Spaces will always be um, about bringing up all the building blocks to lay down the structure of a physical volumetric en engineering. We're almost finished, the next step will be to come in the future installments will focus on other aspects of gameplay as well as pushing the te technology further. So there we go. That's an idea of what's next in Space Engineers. He goes, In the long term, we plan to extend the game and the whole engineering genre into new pioneering directions, just like we did in October 21st, 2013, when Space was released, and since then. However, this is still far off, so too soon to talk about it for now. So there we go. Space isn't stopping anytime soon. He's just given us a hint of what the next major update will be. Hopefully, it won't be too many uh, days or months around the corner uh, to do these overhauls and stuff like that. But I'd rather they spend my time on getting the game focused up there, especially if they're redoing how you respawn and resources and stuff like that. It's definitely almost hinting towards a survival redo there. I know a lot of people have been asking it for a while now, so maybe that's what we're going to get in Space Engineers. That's kind of it and everything I have for this multiplayer update. I'm of course going to be creating many more videos in the multiplayer realm now as we've got quite a lot more stuff we can play with. If you do want to join me in creating those videos, make sure to join my Discord server down below where we're going to be trying to host a few public game servers. I hope to see most of you in there. As usual, give me your feedback about this multiplayer update. What do you think about it? Leave it down below in the comment section. Next week, I am going to be interviewing Marek Rosa, the CEO of Space Engineers and Keen Software House, uh, to talk about this update and the community uh, feedback about it and see if we can get any ideas of what's upcoming next to Space Engineers. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask him, again, make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching this, and I'll catch you next time. Enjoy the update, and goodbye. Once again, fellas, it's been a right blast. It's always fun we get together and play. Watch out! Whoa, hold up. Wait, what the hell is this? That's quite unexpected. Oh, oh my. Who just joined? Uh, guy? Hello? Did you know this person joined the server? Nope. Don't look at me, Kunkert. Hey, guy. I heard you've been waiting for me. 